Elon Musk was driving his Tesla Cybertruck through desert, but his car ran out of power and he was stuck in the hot sun with no water. As Elon walked, he saw an old man sitting under a cactus. The man had a bottle of water. Please, I need water so badly, Elon begged. The old man replied, what do you give in return? Elon told the man, I will give you 50% of my shares in Tesla if you share your water. And the old man replied, what if that is not enough for me? Elon said, then I will give you every company I own. Tesla. SpaceX, all of it. The wise man laughed. You are a foolish man, Elon Musk. You have worked so hard to make modern inventions like cars and rockets. But here you are, willing to trade it all away for a simple sip of my water. It's a story I wrote inspired by Alexander the Great. And here it continues. The wise man gave Elon a sip of water so he could travel further into the hot open desert. This became the day that Elon Musk became a desert man. His only possessions were the clothes on his back and a strange watch that the old man gave to him. This was no ordinary watch though. Instead of showing the current time, it counted down how many days he had to live. The desert man didn't know why he was chosen to have it. All he knew was that as long as he could remember, the watch had been ticking away, reminding him that his time on earth was limited. Most people lived their lives, acting like they could be around forever. They made big plans for the far distant future without realizing how quickly time was passing them by. But the desert man could never forget that his life was short. The ever decreasing number on his wrist was impossible to ignore. Some days staring at the decreasing digits on his watch made the desert man feel anxious and afraid. But over time, he realized his special watch was actually a precious gift. Instead of wasting his number of days on unimportant pursuits, it made him live every moment to the fullest. While Elon Musk rushed around chasing wealth, success, reputation, a created illusion about purpose to Mars, approval for others and so on, the desert man was content with his simple life, only in search of water. This was the day he became awakened, the day he realized everything I built will one day fall. He spent his days exploring the desert, admiring the stunning landscapes, listening to the calming sound of the wind. With his watch constantly reminding him that his time was running out, he learned to see joy in everything, not just the things he was taught to see as beautiful. He saw beauty in all of it. Sometimes travelers would pass through the desert and discover the man with a strange countdown watch. They would ask him about it with puzzled looks on their faces. The desert man would explain, this watch doesn't tell me the current time like a normal one. It tells me how much time I have left before I... The travelers would ponder this for a moment before rushing on, still focused on pursuing their grandiose dreams and ambitions. But the desert man pitied them. He could see that even if they achieved everything they desired, they would eventually realize none of it really mattered because their time was limited too. If only they could see life's beauty, he thought to himself. Years passed and the number on the desert's man watch ticked lower and lower. He watched it count down, but not with sadness anymore, with a sense of calm. With his time so clearly limited, each day was precious to him. At last, when the final day of the watch signaled his time had come, the desert man smiled peacefully, knowing he had truly appreciated the miraculous gift of life, minute by minute. In the far distance of the desert sand, he recognized the old man that gave him the watch. He watched at the old man with a contented smile. He raised his wrist one last time to gaze at the count time, finally reaching zero, when he whispered these last words to himself. Old friend, our meeting at the cactus changed the entire course, while others blindly rushed through their days. Your watch awoke me to the fragility of my existence. We are all but grains of sand in the desert. Your gift helped me appreciate every grain, every second, as most people cannot. I live, truly live, because of you. May you find the truth in life, for it can open your eyes and lose them in the sunset and front of you. If my story inspired you to write one yourself or another feeling of just to create something, I can't explain this feeling. You have it or you don't and I assume you may feel it right now. If that's the case, you may watch this video next so you don't hold yourself back from this feeling you feel right now. And feel free to always send me an email or a DM on social if you have any questions or things you just want to talk to me. And no, I won't ask you for money but I only respond to serious people.
That's it. Talk soon. Elon Musk was driving his Tesla Cybertruck through a desert, but his car ran out of power and he was stuck in the hot sun without water. And as Elon walked, he saw an old man sitting under a cactus. The man had a bottle of water. Please, I need water so badly, Elon back. The old man replied, what do you give in return? Elon told the man, I will give you 50% of my shares in Tesla if you share me the water. The old man asked, and what if that is not enough for me? Elon said, and I give you every company I own, Tesla, SpaceX, all of it. The wise man laughed, you are a silly man, Elon. You worked your entire life so hard to make modern inventions like rockets and even your car that stopped working. But here you are willing to trade it all away for a simple sip of water.